Nation Gaming Edge TV. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Luis Garcia, aka DJ Crossfade. What we have here is the Twin Frozer Gaming DTX 780, the Fantastic. I got this box open, obviously, right because, well, I'm doing this with one hand, so I'm gonna take it out of the box and that way I don't fumble and drop it on the floor. So the first thing we come into is the manual right when you open the box. I, again, I'm doing this with one hand, so it's kind of hard to show the actual box opening. Uh, you can see that in every language, pretty much. Almost looks like you could do a poster type of deal with this, but uh, yeah. I did see a Norton sign on the back of this box, so that leaves me to believe that there's a free antivirus with this awesome graphics card. We will see. So, usually I would say, or everyone else would say, throw the CD away, keep it. There might be something in there worthwhile. Here we have, this was packaged, here we have an adapter, 8-pin uh, to 6-pin. This is Blowout Central right here. Don't use this cable ever. And if you're using an adapter, yeah, it's time, it's definitely time to upgrade for you if you had spent as much money as I did on this graphics card. I'd spent around 650 for this thing. And, uh, it's pretty awesome. There is the 6 gigabyte version, but, uh, I, uh, was not sure if there was a custom deal there. This is the uh, Twin Frozer. This is the the thing you guys were waiting for, and hell, I was waiting for. And this express shipped to me. Uh, I'm going to take it out of the, the packaging, and we'll be right back. So here we have it out of the package. I like this. More companies should include the protectors. I don't know why they don't, but I'll be using most of the display port to uh, PVI. I bought a high-end cable and plan to use it. Uh, you can see the back here. And I'm actually going to find a, a copper back plate to cool it down. Plus it'll look a lot uh, nicer than just showing the uh, PCB there so uh, benchmarks will be coming you can bet on that and I'm gonna do a small bit of overclocking I'm gonna not mess with the vaults but uh yeah why am I overclocking you probably asking I want a higher minimum frame rate that is why I want everything to be real nice and smooth and uh, most people probably think I'm crazy but uh, I'm gonna do it there's a warranty I got the extended warranty, so why not? Yeah, this is these these pipings, man, are real nice. Later on, I'm going to remove this and put some high-end thermal paste because they always put the low-end thermal paste. You can see the power connections right there. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, tell me if you like this kind of videos because when I get new product in. I will put them up. My plan is to get two of these bad boys and I am going to get a 2560 by 1440 screen down the line or maybe even a TV set and mod that to do a 1440p. We will see. I'm going to do some testing later on today and see if I can do 1440 on a television. I was trying out the TV here uh, that we had the living room. I wanted to see if I could do 2560 by 1440 so if you could see that I am playing at 2560 by 1440 on a 780 Ti my frame rates are not dropping anywhere lower than uh, 50 50 is on the low end mostly it stays up in the 60s right up to the 75s what well, counts is of course uh, what is your lowest frame rate? That's what counts if things get choppy and uh, it hasn't And I freaking love this uh, But I will be getting a monitor because this is kind of ridiculous. This is a 45 inch TV, I think
May the power of the cheesecake donut be with you. <laughs>